Alright guys, so the title of this video is not clickbait. I am selling my iPad Pro and keeping the new iPad Mini 6. Let me explain. It's kind of funny. Um, if you would have asked me like a month ago, would I be selling my iPad Pro for the new iPad Mini? I'd be like, why would I ever buy an iPad Mini again? But then here we are, and I picked up the new iPad Mini 6, and I've been loving this thing so far. So I've decided to keep my iPad Mini 6. I'm selling my iPad Pro, and I figured I would tell you guys a little bit about why I'm deciding to kind of do that in choosing this over the iPad Pro. But let's see, I'm actually doing the trade-in program with Apple, which actually they make it super easy, and you get actually a good amount of money back for your old Apple products. All right, so I actually need to get this thing shipped out before UPS closes today, so I'm gonna try to package this thing up quickly. But it's kind of funny, right? The iPad Pro is probably my favorite iPad that I've ever owned, but it is an end of an era. I have decided to trade in this iPad Pro, and I'm going to be keeping the new iPad Mini, which trust me, we're gonna dive into a little bit more in this video. I wanna talk to you guys about why I decided to keep the iPad mini over the Pro, and maybe you should do the same, or maybe your use is a little bit different. So I'll explain that here in a second. But I gotta box this up real quick and get to UPS because they are closing very soon. Check out this little sock sandal situation going on right now. Pretty sick, I know. that iPad sent off. I traded in my iPad Pro, the 2018 version. So it's not even the newest version. And I think I got a little over $400 towards the iPad mini, which I got the base model that was only 500 bucks. And it just started pouring rain. So I don't know if you guys can hear that, but yeah, definitely check out the Apple trade-in program because it was almost an even exchange for a brand new iPad mini. So definitely check it out. All right, now two quick things before we head back to the office and I talk to you guys a little bit more about why I chose the iPad mini over the iPad Pro. One, I just started listening to a brand new podcast by two of my best friends. It's called A Really Big Podcast, so I'll definitely link their channel down in the description below. If you guys like anything in the gaming space, they talk a lot about Twitch versus YouTube. They talk about TikTok and how it's kind of helped them grow on YouTube, utilizing things like YouTube Shorts, so on and so forth. So yeah, super interesting podcast. I'll link it down in the description below. And then the second thing, which is probably the most important thing we're doing today, especially with this weather, I'm feeling very fall vibes, and you know what that means. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. We're gonna get you today. Good to go. Thank you. So I think this is almost more proof it is fall time. Uh, Starbucks somehow was out of cold brew, so they were able to make it an iced coffee instead. But I'm working on perfecting the perfect fall pumpkin Starbucks order. So far, this is kind of what I've gotten. You order a grande, or you know, whatever size, vanilla sweet cream cold brew, and you add a pump of pumpkin in there as well. I think it's a little bit less intense as the pumpkin cream cold brew, although that's really good, but sometimes it's just too much. So they made it today with iced coffee instead of cold brew, which I gotta be honest, I don't know what the difference is too much. Let's give it a taste test. Oh yeah, that's good. It's good, but it's almost time I think to switch over to the warm drinks. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you team iced coffee or team hot coffee? I know some people have very strong opinions about that. If I had to choose, I'm going teamed ice, but let's head back to the office now. All right, let's get down to the nitty gritty of what this video is actually about. Why I decided to get the iPad mini and why I decided to kind of have this replace my iPad Pro and get rid of that thing. So let me try to explain quickly how I personally use my iPad Pro because everyone's different experience and how they use their products are obviously different. Now I myself, obviously I do photo and video work professionally for a living. So I do a lot of that stuff when it comes to, you know, my tech products. But usually with my iPad, I use that a lot for content consumption. So watching YouTube videos, taking notes, writing ideas for future videos of mine, basic things like web browsing, emails, 
watching Netflix shows, stuff like that. That along with maybe some light photo editing, that's pretty much the extent of how I use my iPad. Now, when the iPad Pros came out, you know, especially with like the Magic Keyboard, it started making your iPad really start feeling more like a laptop. And I think that's awesome for some people. But with me, when you're talking about heavy 4K editing, having to transfer stuff between drives, backing up footage, or doing, you know, photo shoots with hundreds or even thousands of photos, doing that type of stuff on an iPad, is it possible? Potentially, but is it efficient? Absolutely not. So for me, my iPad would never replace my computer, at least anytime soon, especially once I picked up the new M1 MacBook Pro and it's the 13 inch, so it's even smaller and it's easier to travel with. Now, a lot of times when I personally travel, I have to travel very light. I usually just have a backpack because I'm traveling with camera gear and other stuff as well. So seriously, everything that I put in my bag does kind of add up and it all counts. And a lot of times I ended up bringing my iPad and I didn't even touch it when I brought it. Now let's talk about the iPad mini because I think a lot of people will talk about how this might be redundant to the larger iPhones, which let me grab, let's do it a little side by side here, right? Let me take my case off my iPhone. This is the iPhone 13 Pro Max and this is the new iPad mini six. So they're not exactly the same whatsoever. I would say, I don't know what, it's two and a half of these, maybe three of these screens equal the iPad mini, but I'm really loving the size of the mini and mainly because I can do all the things that I mentioned to you guys earlier about how I use my iPad. I can do that stuff all on the iPad mini, no problem. And it's even smaller to travel with. It takes up even less space in my backpack, in my camera bag, whatever it is. And that's kind of it right there. The iPad mini can do everything that I need out of my iPad because it's not replacing my iPhone and it's not replacing my MacBook. So it's the perfect machine for me to consume content on, to write notes on, to web browse, to read and write emails, or maybe even doing a little bit of light photo editing in Lightroom Mobile. Just for me and my personal use, this size is just a lot more enjoyable for me and I think it makes a little bit more sense. And for the people that think the iPad mini is too redundant of a size if you have a larger iPhone, I personally don't think so. And I also would kind of argue that the larger iPads like the 11 inch and for sure the 12.9 inch iPad Pro is such a redundant size to your MacBook or actual computer. There is no way I would travel with one of those larger iPads with the Magic Keyboard in addition to a MacBook. That's gonna take up so much room in your backpack. And if you're actually in a pinch, I bet you would reach for your MacBook Pro over your iPad for most situations. So yeah guys, those are really my main thoughts on why I chose the iPad mini over the iPad Pro. And obviously it's gonna be different for each person out there. Maybe you use your iPad a lot more than I do, or maybe use certain programs that you can't do on these other devices. But that's just me and my personal experience. And I am definitely super excited about this iPad mini. I've been using this thing all day, every day, and definitely I'm gonna be doing some more content on it soon. So let me know your guys' thoughts down in the comments below. And if there is any particular content you wanna see on the new iPad mini or maybe the new iPhone 13 Pro Max, let me know down in the comments below. But guys, that's gonna be it for me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, will you please drop it a thumbs up? If you're new around here, consider subscribing. I'd really appreciate it. It helps out the channel more than you can even imagine. And I will catch you guys in the next video very, very soon. Peace, guys. Thank you.